Hello and good Wednesday evening, everyone. In this update, I will go over the latest with regards to our severe weather chances the next two days, Thursday and Friday, an expansion and an increase in severe weather risks across the area. The details begin right now. First, a thanks to you, first responders. Uh, call Robert Gibbons Sons today and find out how you can get up to $400 off with their services. Call Robert Gibbons Sons, let them know that Hutch has sent you, and let's take a look at your forecast as we will look at a couple of different models here showing that the scenarios could pan out a couple of different ways. And in all honesty, uh, any one of these routes uh, and paths of storm uh, across a state, storm, stormy weather across a state will be a possibility as we go through. As you go into your afternoon hours on Thursday, storms develop in northeast Montana, boom, with low pressure. You see that crossing over the state border. The time frame here is about three in the afternoon. These will expand in aerial coverage and continue to drift their way off to the east. Now, this model shows it moving right down the Highway 2 corridor with its threat, but the threat has increased in the eastern third of North Dakota. All modes of severe weather will be possible. Large hail over two inches in diameter. Dusty straight line winds will become a threat even deep into the overnight hours. Here is a look as we approach the 10 to midnight time frame, moving through the uh, Devil's Lake Basin and into portions of the Red River Valley. Notice the backward C-shape to the storms in northwest Minnesota. Gusty wind possible there. These storms will continue to fester through the region as we go into the morning hours on your Friday, and that's model one. Now, this model hasn't been the most accurate, but it certainly is a scenario that is a possibility. Here's the one that I think has been doing the best job over the last several model runs. And, well, not every storm has it had complete success, but it's done a pretty fair job, in my opinion, showing afternoon storms developing on our Thursday in northeast Montana. Crossing over the border, do you see that L stapled there? Low pressure expands. Storms follow down the Highway 2 corridor. This keeps nothing in the southern part on south of I-94. Just keep in mind, yes, storms will be possible in those areas. Again, this time frame is 7 p.m. moving through the uh, Minot area between 5 and 7 and heading into the Devil's Lake Basin. See the backward C shape developing here on these? That's a bow echo, and that is a gusty line of thunderstorms. Embedded within that can be the possibility of some tornadic activity. We call those QLCS thunder, uh, tornadoes, rather, and they are a possibility with these. Very large hail, up to 2 inches and more in diameter. Gusts of wind over 80 miles per hour possible. Crossing into the Red River Valley, note here, Moving down the Highway 2 corridor between Grand Forks and Fargo, a chance for windy thunderstorms as we cross into the midnight time frame. So between 10 and midnight, these storms will race through parts of northwest and central Minnesota and then lose a little bit of their punch as we head toward the daybreak hours. So a couple of different models there to illustrate that we will keep you on top of things and we will just have to see where things form. Uh, as we go through the forecast period. Now, a quick look at the adjusted forecast for Friday using the European model. And I'll just use this one here as a, uh, a remnant of what we're expecting from the storms. Now, the storms that move through and make their way into our area on our Friday morning in eastern North Dakota, western Minnesota, could have some impact on uh, what we see with regards to the development of storms as we go into the afternoon. There we go. It took a little bit to load. My apologies here as we uh, go through on the European model forecast. There's your Thursday storms racing across with all modes of severe weather possible. Friday afternoon storms develop in the eastern third of North Dakota. Do you see this? This is noon working our way into the evening hours here, 7 p.m. And then after that, look how quickly they run across the state of Minnesota. Again, all modes of severe weather will be possible as we go into your day. So what does this look like as we now uh, unfold this with regards to the severe weather threat? Let's go ahead and take a look at what the Storm Prediction Center has for us with regards to our threats on our Thursday. And it is pretty significant because it has expanded all the way into the Red River Valley. This is a look at your Thursday risk. We'll move this over and not look at the tornado threat, but you can see here in brown from the Lake Sakakawea area in Hazen Bay all the way through the eastern third of North Dakota. That's a 5% risk of tornadoes. Tornadoes can't be ruled out. A 2% risk in the green areas, Minot, Devil's Lake, Fargo, Grand Forks, and Fergus Falls. That does include you folks in Monoma and out towards the western reaches of Otter Tail and Becker counties as well. Now, there are other risks with these storms as we go through your day. Let's take a look at the significant hail threat. This highlighted area shows where we could have some huge hail, over two inches in diameter. 
there's a hail threat elsewhere, but this area has a significant risk of hail. Damaging straight-line winds include the I-94 corridor and just shy of the Grand Forks area and the Devil's Lake Basin. Note that not all models agree on the exact track of these storms. This could shift a little bit, and I'll keep you up to date. And again, a look at the uh, risks categorically of all modes of severe weather. There's been an increase from slight or yellow to orange, which is called an enhanced risk in the area of concern for damaging straight-line winds, isolated tornadoes, one or two could be strong, and very large hail. This does include you folks in Garrison, McCluskey, Carrington, Bismarck, Steele, Linton, Hazleton, Moffat, Braddock, Edgeley, Lisbon, uh, Quinner, you'll be in the area. Look at this, Fargo, Mayville, Cooperstown, as well as you folks in Finley, Hunter, and Page. Now out in the yellow areas, that includes Devil's Lake and Grand Forks. That's a slightly lower risk of severe weather, but significant storms will be likely. The risks for those areas include very large hail as well, two inches in diameter, gusty winds to 70 miles per hour or more, and we could see an isolated tornado in the yellow areas as well. As we turn the page to Friday, notice the complete shift to the east of the severe weather risks. So here it goes, and as we take you in just a little bit closer, you're going to see the Red River Valley is where the risks are greater. That's the enhanced risk for all modes of severe weather. It includes Valley City, it includes Mackville, Grafton, it includes uh, all of Marshall County, Minnesota, Pennington County up there in the Thief River area, Red Lake Falls, Ada, Monoman, western parts of Becker County, and all the way down into the southeast quadrant of North Dakota. So Gwinner, Lisbon, Fort Ransom, uh, Windmere, Hankinson, and also you folks out in the Breckenridge area, as well as Wheaton for much of the, uh, well, not Traverse County, but Wilkin County area and Traverse County to the west. So that is a look at what's going on with your forecast for the next couple of days. Here are the digits that you'll need to pay attention to as we go through. So one thing we're keeping in mind is it's going to be a hot and a muggy day. Take a look at these digits. All right, here we go. There, there it is. Sorry about that. We're looking at morning temperatures that start out in the mid-60s, a little warmer to the south and to the west here in Bismarck, near 70, where we'll have a morning shower, thunder shower. Then in the afternoon, storms develop in the oil patch and race through the region into the nighttime hours. It will be a hot one in your afternoon on the drive time home. And remember, these storms don't reach the eastern third of North Dakota till a little later, 7 to 11 for most of us here in eastern North Dakota, and then after that in parts of western Minnesota. Seven-day planner shows Friday morning storms could be strong. We talked about those in the wee hours of the morning. And then this uh, asterisk here has the main event focused right over the Red River Valley in western Minnesota, right in our kitchen. I'll keep you posted. We cool off with just a pinch for the weekend. It looks a little quieter. And check out these digits for next week. Ooh, comfortably chilly or cool with highs near 70 degrees. Degrees. Hey, please tune in on your Thursday at 4.30 uh, from the showroom floor at Luther Family Ford. I cannot wait to introduce you to this young man, Mason Silly of Devil's Lake, North Dakota, making the long bicycle ride to Luther Family Ford, where we will do the weather in the showroom on the showroom floor. Remember to check it out on Facebook. And if you do on Facebook or on Hutch's Weather's YouTube channel, leave a comment for these young folks because they just knock it out of the park. And thanks so much. If you have a youngster interested in helping Hutch do the weather, sign him up over at Hutch'sWeather.com or head into, well, you guessed it, Luther Family Ford here in South Fargo. Hutch'sWeather.com, just a kind, quick word for all of my fine sponsors that make it possible. Interactive radar, if you allow Hutch'sWeather.com to follow your device's location, you'll get watches, warnings, and alerts for your area. And please support all of my fine sponsors, including a new one, JLA. What is that? It's crop insurance. Big time hail working its way into the region. And I do want to take one moment to uh, highlight the details. Uh, my friend Nate over there at JLA Crop Insurance has hail coverage that can be bound within two hours. So if it looks like storms are coming and there is a decent chance for your Thursday across most of North Dakota and Friday in eastern North Dakota and western Minnesota. Well, JLA Crop Insurance can have that coverage, the hail coverage, bound within two hours. Give them a call to protect your investment and protect your livelihood. Other products are available from my friend Nate as well. Thanks for watching. I'm meteorologist Hutch Johnson. I'll keep you informed the best that I can for now. Have a wonderful evening. Follow me on Facebook. It's a huge help. We're approaching 70,000 followers on Facebook and my YouTube page growing strong. 
on Hotch's Weather. Thanks so much.